Hey everyone and welcome back to Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. On this video, we're doing the quest, Pillar's Shadow Clan Contribution. That's going to be at the Pillar's Shadow Navi Camp, which is in the Upper Plains. It's right there. So, we're going to fast travel to Clouds of Stone. Okay, and from here we are going west. Oh, there you are. So, pretty much follow the river once again. And our camp is going to be on the left side. <laughs> on the south side. So there it is right there. And here we are. Alright, so as usual, there's going to be the little baskets. Let's pick them up. We've got sulfur pod times two. They move fast, and so must we. We've got glazed spices food. And we don't need a depot. It is a good day to fight. Alright, so Pillar Shadow is looking for a vine shroom of superior quality or better. So there are actually vine shrooms in this area, but it's pretty hard to find them at superior quality. So let's go to the place that's more likely. But first, we'll, uh, we'll go on our hunter's guide here and get it pinned. Let's see, where is it hiding? It's probably pretty low. There it is. So most commonly found hanging below floating mountains throughout Pandora. Rarer vine shrooms are often found at higher altitudes on floating mountains throughout Pandora. So we're going to unpin whatever that was. I think it was trail moss and pin the vine shroom. And then looking at our map where we want to go is over to the boundless range. And uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just go to solitude station and fly straight up essentially. Could teach us a thing or two about pigments. Okay, so yeah, pretty much straight up. Which apparently is where Talisi came from. She was hanging out in the boundless range. Alright, go win up. So we do want to go fairly high to get those superior ones. Maybe like up here. This one's probably high enough. Let's see, we got anything here? Oh. Nothing there. Hmm, surprising, I don't see any. But they're definitely around here. I thought they were a little more abundant, but I guess I was wrong. Maybe we'll go a little bit higher. Maybe all the way up here. Whoa! Weird. All right, where are they hiding? They are around here, I promise. Still not finding any. Very strange. Maybe they're here. Or not. I 
There we go, we found one. And indeed, it is superior. Alright, we'll just grab this one. This, seem, this one seems a little bit easier to get. There we go. Alright, and that is superior quality. Perfect. So, let's go ahead and fast travel back to the camp. And we'll turn it in. We've returned. The night is a more mysterious time. Alrighty, our quest is complete. So, why don't we go ahead and explore this area a bit? Let's find some stuff, shall we? So, let's start off by going northeast. There's a waterfall over here. We're going to go down it. So, here's the waterfall. And pretty much right after it, you'll find this Tarshu sapling. Oh, wow. That current is strong. I couldn't move against it at all. Makes sense, there's a waterfall right there. All right, we've got another skill point. Okay, and then there should be a field lab like right up here. Not far at all. Here it is, Mountain Shadow Field Lab. As usual, look out for any logs. There's something on the backside there. It's not a log, but some sort of container. Might be spare parts. Uh, nope, it's ammunition. Oh, my energy is like toast. Let's have those glazed spices that we picked up. And let's get this place powered. Starting up there. All right, Mountain Shadow Field Lab is powered. Let's not forget our spare parts. Got five of them. Nobody's calling. So we should be good. Okay, so let's actually head back towards the camp. We'll go explore on the other side. I love Talisi's bioluminescence. It's great. Okay, so we're heading back this way towards the big old planet. Back towards the camp. And we're heading towards another field lab, which is like around there-ish. Maybe more that way. That general direction. I think that is it under the tree over there. You're a chopper nearby. Let's see if I have to deal with it. Looks like we're in the clear. Maybe right. another time. Here we are at the Great Falls Field Lab. Once again, looking for logs. Any notes? Anything? Doesn't look like there's any. Power it up. We start on top again. Okay, once again, don't forget your spare parts. Once again, nobody's calling. They don't like us. And 
we're good. Now there should also be bell sprig around here, like not far at all. I think it's right nearby in the Let's water. Go, I think it's like right over here. Yep, there it is. Wow, this area is bright. Look at this. Alright. Health increased. Again. Alright, so then from here, we're gonna go all the way to the top of these floating mountains. All the way to the top. At least he might get a little tired. All the way. Okay, here we are at the summit. And there's an Ikran gear basket. Where is that? It's like right here. A Senna advanced harness. Senna harness for advanced Ikran gear set. Sure. Oh, and wait. At some point I fully discovered Talisi's favorite food? Oh, it's lean meat and fruit. Interesting. All right, and you can see we've entered some sodden two grounds. So we can get another ancestor skill. Oh, hey, why are you closing on me? I'm sodden too, open up. Thank you. Wing gust. When landing, your Ikran will perform a wing gust, damaging and disorienting enemies in a radius of 30 meters around the landing zone. I really like the sound of that. That looks amazing. And just straight up took out that amp suit. That's pretty awesome. Looking forward to trying this out. The Sarin to Riders grant you the insight you need to teach your bonded Ikran a new hunting skill. With the trust built between you, they will flap their powerful wings to damage small enemies as you land. <laughs> I don't know why an amp suit's considered a small enemy, but sweet. And we got two skill points for that. Alright, Talisi. Actually, while I'm up here, is there anything new to scan? Probably not, but if you're looking for Superior Plains Hive, this is apparently the place to get it. Although, what's that over there? Oh, it's also a Plains Hive. Just look different. Okay, anyways. Let's go. So, we're gonna go southeast down the mountain. Oh, look at that. Sunrise, great. So we're going southeast down the mountain. Roughly southeast. We're looking for something down here, but I don't know if we're gonna spot it for quite some time. Actually, that might be it right there. Get to watch the sunrise, I love it. And yep, that is it. So you can see we found a wind flute. Yeah. 
Aeolian Wind Flute. Oh, Talisi is like right on it. Talisi, I'm gonna summon you so you'll go away. Ow, ow, what's hurting me? Ow! The heck was that? I have no idea. Something was very angry with me though. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's the Bone Thorn. I didn't even see it. Alright, Talisi, I need you to go. Here, I'll just move her. I'll move her. Let's ease off a little. You need a rest. There we go. Now I'm stuck on her. Get over there. All right. Ow. More bone thorn. Ow. That stuff hurts. All right. And we got some clan favor. So we get a nice view into the King Lore Forest. There's an aerial, aerial device nearby, but we'll save that for later. Alrighty, so you can see where we went. Started over there, kind of went up the mountain, and then over here. And connected to the King Lore Forest. So, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right here. Oh, well, something's mad at me. What's mad at me? Oh, hello. Hello. Ow. Go away. Okay. Now we're going to wrap things up. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.